Who can resist an obsolete steam driven monster like Sooty? The club hosted a run to Oberon for the 2015 Highland Steam and Vintage Fair. While everyone else set off from Sydney, we piled into the Ghost and drove down from our place near Mudgee. We took the scenic route through Hill End. The back roads down this way are a lot of fun in the Rolls Royce. They're interesting and certainly a little challenging. They take you through steep country with some magnificent views and the perfect backdrop for a drive like this. The Ghost loves a cruising speed of about 45 miles an hour along these sorts of roads. At this pace you get plenty of time to watch the world go by. We turned right at Sally's Flat and went down across the Turon River, then continued on to Bathurst and eventually out to Oberon. The rest of the club was well and truly settled in at the fair by the time we arrived and the cars were garnering lots of attention. We were certainly impressed by the number and variety of club cars that had come up from Sydney. This row wasn't all of them either. Even though I arrived late, I managed to fluke a parking spot right behind them. The Steam and Vintage Fair is a great event that's well supported by clubs. There's all kinds of cars and the majority are in excellent condition. You can spend an easy hour or two just looking over them. The big steam engines are the highlight of course and it's surprising how many drive around the grounds and they're all in marvellous condition. There's dozens of old tractors and farm implements and some of them have been restored to better than new condition. It's not all about vehicles either. The Flying Pyman played all day, amusing kids with its complete lack of digital magic. The Living History crew from Lithgow provided a different kind of symphony with their anti-aircraft gun as well as a range of small arms. Club member Ray Williams showed off one of his rare Royce electric motors, an unusually quiet exhibit. Restored stationary motors chugged and chuffed away and there was lots of memorabilia that would browse or buy. We faced a long drive home, so I didn't have a look around the rest of Oberon and left about mid-afternoon, cruising back up through Bathurst and over the Turon. The Ghost powered along, it's a real pleasure to drive this 1924 Tourer. All up, it was about a 200 mile drive for us. We couldn't do it in convoy with the rest of the club, but it was good to catch up at Oberon, certainly it's such a fun event.